guys, welcome back to our channel. My name's Lily, and today you guys are going to learn to draw some mint chocolate chip ice cream cones. That that's why I have some Gandhi's chocolate. Well, mint chocolate chip. That's my favorite favorite flavor from Dandy's. As you guys can see, I've ate, ate lots, lots of it. I have like another pint in the freezer. But yeah, that's what you guys are gonna learn to draw today. So yeah, before we get started, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, give us a huge thumbs up, and make sure to follow us on Instagram at The Crafty Beaches. So yeah, let's get started. The materials you will need are um, seafoam green, or I just try to match this color best. I think it's a pretty close. Then you need brown for the chocolate. Kind of close, I don't think I have a darker brown. But then you need terracotta for the cone. Or more of like a cone color. If you guys can find like a color that says cone, maybe use it. I don't have one of those. So yeah, I'm just gonna work with what I've got. And then you need a black marker, eraser, and a pencil. I like the tiny one. And you obviously need paper too. Ooh. Let's get started. For and is it starting? Okay. So step one. You have to draw the cone shape. This is just like, you don't want it just to be like a straight one and not really any bends, but you kind of want it to be right at the top, kind of a little curved. And then you go down to a point at the bottom. Try to make it equal by the, but if it isn't, fully equal like where you're ending it sometimes it helps me is it I just do this to get to know where the spot is to do it but that's not what we're doing we're not making a pizza um, but then after I have it done I just erase that line that's why I have to do it lightly if you guys always have trouble like I do with that part you guys can also do that let's make sure I'm um, straight after. So, after you guys are done that, um, step two. You guys also can. You guys know you guys can just pause at any at any moment if you guys need. <laughs> step two. You to make it have three D, not two D. You have to kind of make the inner part of the cone. You see that faint line? It makes it look like really three D. But or you guys aren't going to see that from the ice cream. It makes you do it lightly. So now we are going to do the pattern on here. That's step three. Make the pattern. So light, kind of lightly, like kind of lightly, and just draw lines this way. Then you draw them that way. And then you draw them that way. If you guys have ever had cones before, I think you guys probably have. But you guys can see like there's always really like a pattern on the cone, on like if it's a waffle cone. like right now so now we're going to move on to to step four which is the ice cream part I have peanut butter in my finger um, which is the first scoop you guys can do one scoop two scoops three scoops four scoops how many scoops you want but I think I'm probably just gonna stick with one or two okay so first 
you have to go a little bit over the side, like and make a circle, like a uh, shape like that. But then, I need that a little bit lower. Yeah, it's okay if you guys have it like lower. It doesn't have to be right above. To finish that, after you did that part, you have to kind of draw like a shape like that. I'm going to make sure mine's like, mine's not going to be, it's going to be kind of realistic, but then the part I at the end isn't going to be way too realistic. Because I like cartoon smiley faces. There's going to be a cartoon smiley face on it. Um, just make it more, more shaped like that. Okay. Okay, after that one, I think I actually might just stick with two overlapping scoops, maybe. So you guys, you don't want it to be like right on top, just stack there. You just kind of want it to be a little bit lower. So maybe like just do this. You don't have to, don't do the ruffle part. You guys can if you'd like. I don't know if I am. My, the top is gonna cut mine off a little bit. Or if I just shrink it. Mm -hmm. But looks, it, it, in the end, your ice cream, or your mint chocolate chip ice cream is gonna look stellar cute. And it's good. Make two little lines, two little humps there. Like just to show it that it was another scoop. So yeah, we're done with the ice cream part. Actually, I'm just gonna erase those jumps. Now, step five. You have to draw like the chocolate chunks. As you guys can see with my ice cream here, I think I should put it in the freezer because it's melting. But it's like, it's not perfect chocolate chips. It's kind of chunky like that. Chocolate chunks. That's what you guys are gonna draw on your ice cream. Or you guys actually should have said this before. If you're able to make any ice cream you want, you guys it can have chocolate milk, it can have sprinkles, it can have everything. Let's go do chocolate chunks. I'm just gonna. That it, guys. What you have to do is just start to draw squares. It kind of looks like confetti, doesn't it? While I'm doing lots of these chocolate chunks. Um, make sure you guys subscribe, like the video, if you haven't already. Um, and then, just keep on going with the chocolate chunks. Right, I'm gonna save room, like right about there, cause that's where I'm No, that one's what kind of face it's gonna go. I'm just gonna lightly draw a circle where I want the face to go, just so I don't put any chocolate chunks there. The face part is also optional, but I like faces, I, like, I already told you guys, so I'm just gonna do my face. Okay, so 
I have finished with all my chocolate chunks, I think. You can as many as you want. You can maybe just do like four, three or four. One or two. Probably not one or two, but. Now it's time for step six. Uh, step, step six, I mean. It's where you guys are, we're going to draw the face. So, I'm going to start with the eyes. Draw nice little circles. Oh, this one's a little too big. They don't have to be equal because mine aren't way too equal. Yeah, they're not. That one just have to go up a little bit higher. To the belt there. Um, so yeah. Then, what you guys are going to do, you have to draw like a tiny little circle there, tiny little circle there, and color it in. Or just one circle. I don't want to do one circle. Same on the other side. There. That's pretty good, isn't it? Maybe I'll just fix up the eyes later. Um, and that what you do is you make a tiny little smile. Make sure you drive tight. Cut in black. Wait, I don't like really the eyes. Right there. Maybe I should just Use the tip of the pencil to draw. Okay. It looks like it's looking off that way. So yeah, that's kind of all I have to do for this one. Now it's time to start coloring. This is your guys' final creation. I hope you guys like it. Make sure you guys subscribe, turn on notifications, and give us a huge thumbs up. Follow us on Instagram. If you do this, take a picture of it. Um, and tag us in it. It's at the Crafty Beaches. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.